The skills that you need to teach online, uh, again, are very similar to the skills that you need to teach in the face-to-face -face classroom. So I think one of the things that instructors might be intimidated about in terms of teaching online is, is they might be um, a little bit nervous about using the technology. And it's, it's very important to know that you really don't need to be that technologically savvy in order to teach online. Um, I think the biggest skill is, is having organizational skills and, and having a sense of what the course is going to look like from start to finish. That's, that's really the biggest thing that I've found. Um, the technological stuff can usually be taken care of through instructional design or through support at the university, which is great. Um, but as long as you have a good sense of the content, as long as you have a good sense of um, how things sort of flow together logically, um, then I think it's, it's very possible for someone that's even scared of technology to, to really excel in the online environment because those are the types of principles that, that the students look for. They, they, they're not looking for things that are uh, incredibly elaborate. Um, they're not looking for, uh, you know, really sort of, uh, you know, different technologies. They're looking for uh, certainty in terms of what, what my expectations are. They're looking for um, a sense of what they're supposed to do every week. Um, and they're looking for a sense of community. So all of those things are, are skills that really don't require a lot of technological savvy. I would say uh, you definitely have to have some, some medium level technical skills. Uh, you also have to have, uh, I would say, empathy for your students. Some students will take online learning like ducks take to water. Some students might be still reluctant, even though, by all accounts, everyone is on social media. Um, and so empathy is one of the skills that you have to cultivate. How are students engaging this material? Uh, and also, you have to, the other thing, you have to learn to collaborate with other people. So now, when you design a course, you're not the only person that basically drives the bus. There are other people on the bus. So there's people like Julia who you talk to about whether some of the stuff is feasible or not. So definitely this kind of, it becomes more of a communal kind of affair. I think necessary skills for online teaching involve a, a basic level of, of adeptness at handling online tools. You know, and you have to know your way around the internet and you have to not be afraid of new learning in that regard. And I think that that to a certain extent has been a barrier for me because I'm not a technical person and I tend to freeze in the face of the, the first problem that I encounter, I tend to freeze. I'm not somebody who's gonna tinker. And that in that regard, it's been really fantastic to have the support of our center here because they have been, they're at the other end of the phone or the other end of an email practically all the time. Uh, I think uh, being you need to be open to changing your pedagogical approach. I mean, I think you, in order for this to work, you have to be ready to grow. And you know, I hope that we all are that way in, as teachers. But I found that I, I had a certain level, of expecta certain level of expectation of what I was gonna learn, and I've learned that much more. And that's been really exciting. The bigger the class, and this is maybe not even an issue associated with online or blended, but just maybe size of class and online classes tend to be, or are often larger, is you have to be very, very organized. Um, you have to have things prepared. Um, you can't sort of do just-in-time delivery that uh, a lot of profs like to use, uh, you know, as they're madly rushing to get everything all ready for, you know, that day's lecture. You can't really do that in the world of online or blended classes. You have to have everything all prepared in advance. So there's a lot of work that you have to do up front in order to make things run smoothly. I think that's probably one of the biggest differences that uh, I, I would see anyway in terms of doing uh, an online or blended class. You need creativity uh, to organize activities that could create a sense of belonging also for that online environment that otherwise could seem dry. So organize activities that could um, bring the students together. For instance, um, group research. For instance, uh, online debate. Uh, activities that would uh, warm up uh, the atmosphere of the course, uh, but also um, speak directly to the outcomes wanted every week. So you need creativity for that. 
Okay, so some of the skills I think that are required for teaching online is you have to have a different attitude around availability. In an in-class uh, course, you can expect to see them at least once a week, often more than that. And then you set up office hours so that you're reachable and the assumption is everyone's on campus and so they can, they can come see you. But online, students tend to, at least in the classes that I've taught, tend to work at all hours, tend to cover the material, often last minute. So you get a flurry of activity right before an exam, and that can be frustrating. But at the same time, understanding that that's where the students come from and making yourself more available to answer um, is, I found to be more successful. And on top of that, then, you, you have to adjust your communication style a little bit. Uh, they tend to be, a lot of the comments come via email or or the discussion boards, and as a result, they're very informal, casual, almost, and it'd be hard to imagine them asking the same thing if they were talking to you face-to-face, -face, but through this communication, through the course management system, or through email, they come across as casual. Adapt your communication to their level. I found that to be more successful. Um, you know, being a little more casual, a little more like, yeah, you know, say yeah instead of a really, it's, it's simple things, but honestly they respond so much better when they feel like they're talking to a person and not this, you know, kind of unreachable, unreachable professional that, you know, is an expert and, and they're, you come across as almost bothered by their question if you're too formal. There are definitely skills that I've developed through online teaching. Um, the, the biggest skill that I developed was, was instructional design. Um, and it's really impacted my face-to-face -face teaching as well. Um, sort of storyboarding the course and uh, coming up with a project plan, coming up with set learning outcomes that were, that were directly linked to assessment. Um, these are t the types of things that really can't be overlooked in the online environment. Um, and it, in some ways, you can kind of uh, you can kind of overlook them in the face-to-face -face classroom because you're, you're kind of making choices as, as things go along. Um, so for me, that, that, uh, that sense of, of developing a, a course in a holistic way and, and making sure that everything is integrated um, was the biggest skill that I had developed teaching online. And, and it's been a, a really big, it's had a very big impact on my face-to-face on my -face courses as well. For sure, I've developed lots of new skills through online teaching. Um, I'm getting to be a very good multitasker and just learning how to work with technology, learning about technology and not being afraid to use it and try new things.